Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a fun one, filed IFR up to North Carolina, just about an hour flight. Do have some clouds here hanging out around 5,500 feet, so it should be fun to poke through those. Let's get uh, in the plane, get it started up and head out. See you guys. Somerville Airport. Automated weather observation, two, zero, three, zero, Zulu. Wind, zero, three, zero at four knots visibility seven sky condition scattered at four thousand six hundred broken at five thousand five hundred temperature two niner celsius dew point one niner celsius altimeter two niner seven five inches of mercury remarks density altitude two two zero zero lightning distant south and south west all right, so scattered at 4,600, broken at 5,500. I filed for seven, so hopefully we poke out at that time. If we don't, I might come back down to five. Um, or we'll just go the rest of the way and just poke through the clouds, right? That's why we're IFR rated, so instrument rate, rather. All right, altimeter is our set. Sentry is on. Poor flight. Flight plan is loaded. Let's double check it. Flight plan. Venue. Let's preview it on the map. Good practice. Okay, that's the direction I want to go. That's right. K-E-Y-F, okay, well you can just right away click on that and go to Waypoint Info and look at the weather, excuse me, the freaks, and the AWOS there is 119.47, so just stay out of the flight, get everything you can on the ground, that's, that's Radio 2, Com 2, so I won't be using that again until I get to that airport, okay, everything's good to roll, bring our landing line on for our taxi light, start using on the power, once she gets rolling we will tap those brakes and they're both working. That's Somerville traffic, Mooney 7 Niner 811. Taxi runway 6 from the rear hangar, Somerville. So the weather to the south and southwest um, looks a little rough, but there is a convective segment um, down there in Georgia and Florida, so that's, the, that's that direction, so I kind of expect it to look a little rough that way. Um, but it, it, it looks good the direction I'm going, clear right, clear left ones that we can poke through yet. I would not be going that way. <laughs> would not be going that way. Luckily, it's going that way, though. The wind is going that way. All right, this will leave it. We'll get the run-up done right here. That's 1,700. Two left. That's a nice drop. Two right. One left. Nice drop. One right. Bolts. Amps. Everything's in the green. Come with a pop. few moments later. Clear to Alpha Yankee Foxtrot via radar vectors. Climb maintain 2,000. Expect 7,000. One zero minutes after. Departure frequency 120.7. Squawk 1627. 79 or 811. Okay. Uh, upon uh, takeoff, we'll fly heading 360. And if not off in five minutes, we'll call back within six minutes. 79 or 811. Fuel pump. Power boost electron fuel pump. Beacon nav light. Landing lights on. Seatbelts on. Doors are on. Window retraction lever. Number one traffic is here. One five Fox Trot on the left down wind two four Somerville. That's Centurion. Uh, this is seven nine eight one one. We're on the ground at Somerville, uh, holding that first runway six. You think we can get out in time? If we uh, ready to go right now? Roger that. We're just we're just starting on the left down wind for uh, on two uh, four right now. Roger that. Uh, Somerville traffic. Mooney seven nine eight one one taking off runway six. We'll be looking for that traffic on downwind. Somerville traffic. Okay, we're cleared up to two thousand. Traffic. Centurion one five Fox Trot. We have uh, we have traffic in sight. I thought they were. The wind paper in 06 right now for some of those? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, here we go. Heading 360. The hell? <laughs> Worry about that later. Here's up the clock. Summers with traffic. Centurion, 15 Fox Trail. We have departing, departing traffic in sight. No factor. Summers with traffic. Over to departure. Control for departure. Mooney 798 
you can essentially fly around the clouds, which you, you cannot do VFR. You have to maintain VFR cloud clearance. District 5498, to do that. Center, so, um, you can really only do that when you're on an IFR flight plan, and you uh, get HC approval to do so. So it's kind of cool today. And we're going to smack four, four, five, seven, seven, seven. straight into this one, if that's okay. Flight hitting zero nine or zero nine. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. I could never do this before. I can't really look out the window either. I have to watch my instruments, but you guys check it out. Here comes another cloud. All right, I was on the instruments. How was it? Pretty cool? All right. And approach 790811. We're going back on course. Should be clear from here on out. Ray, one, one, Roger. All right, man. Another cloud right ahead of us here. We'll just punch through that. I'm going to film another video here coming up of um, kind of introducing you guys to this airplane, going over all the cool features. I'll show you guys the outside, but real quick, it's a 1965 Mooney M20E. My last plane was a 1966 Mooney M20E. Here's some clouds here.